Hey guys, Megan here. I wanted to give you an update on my digital detox, which was last weekend, all day, Saturday and Sunday, and I was screen free the entire time, I think. Um, no phones, no laptops. Um, I wandered into the room when my kids were watching TV a couple times, but I tried to run away as soon as I realized um, that I was in violation of the detox. So overall, it was awesome. I really loved it. I um, was surprised. I thought it was going to suck a lot, and I thought I was going to cheat, but I didn't. Um, I will tell you that I did clean my house a lot. It was so clean by Sunday night, and I realized, huh, I guess, I guess I do sit around a lot more on my screen than I thought I did. Um, then, you know what's weird? I realized I don't think it was that I sit around on my screen, but it's that having screens available and the opportunities, um, I'll call it to, to optimize what I do, like um, that I could reply to the 500 emails in my inbox, or I could figure out a game plan for um, our next weekend's activities, or I could read the three news articles that I really wanted to catch up on. And I think about that and I flip between them and I try to figure out the best way. And then I read five articles on the best way to clean my bathtub, but I don't actually clean my bathtub. And I don't actually answer all the emails, but I sit around and I think about all of the different things I could do because when you have the screens, you have the whole world at your fingertips. Um, and so I noticed when I didn't have that as an option, I just uh, made choices based on what was available right around me. I got so much more done and it was awesome. Um, I loved it. And so then I went into the week thinking, gosh, this is great. Now I totally understand the benefits and I'm gonna monitor my usage, throttle it down so much more. But I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you in the next um, in the next section on how that went. Surprise! It wasn't great. Okay, I'll be back.